This program was made possible by the University of Connecticut. Cooperative Extension System. Learning for a sustainable future. And by the Expanded Food and Nutrition Education Program. Helping families eat better for less. Funding for Eyewitness Foods has been provided by the Connecticut Department of Public Utility Control, Public Utilities Regulatory Authority Peg Patient Grant. So what do you think calories are? Um, I'm supposed to know this, right? Uh, let me see. A calorie, is it like something that's in food? I don't know what it is exactly, but it's, is it a nutrient? I don't know. I think that's what it is. What are the calories? Uh, calories is a food energy source, I think. Whoa, 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 excuse me, sir. Do you know what an empty calorie is? It's an empty calorie? Thank you, sir. Excuse me, sir. Do you know what an empty calorie is? Hmm, a calorie that's empty? Thank you, sir. Actually, a calorie is a unit of energy. Come on, make it loud! calories a day or C 1,800 calories a day what's your answer we'll tell you the correct answer after these messages now back to our show Kinesiology, study of moving. Ever heard the idea of burning calories? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me what do you know about that? Exercise. Exercise, yeah. Go ahead. Have calories. Your body produces fat, so it can store the calories, and then and then 
learn to not get fat. You have to burn some of those calories. But you're right. When we think about burning calories, we think about burning fat. So if you're going to burn, burn a calorie, how do I know how much I burned? Lose weight. I must have burned some calories. And I could do that by what two things? I could either change what I eat or exercise. I, I'm trying to figure out how many calories I burn. All right, we can measure your heart rate. Take okay, heart rate. And let's say we go 60, and up here is 180 beats in a minute. And I go low activity to high activity. But there's some relationship. Do you know what that is? A mathematical relationship? I want you to get into four teams. If you just do that balance thing, your heart rate goes up to 90. If you do jumping jacks, it goes up a little bit more to about 100, 110. And if you jump rope, and you really, really jump rope, you can get it up to 140. What does that tell me about how many calories you burn? The greater your heart rate, the more calories you burn. Exactly right. When your heart rate goes up, what else typically goes up? Why did I tell you you couldn't put your hand on your chest and get real accurate? Because your breathing. Your breathing goes up. And when I do metabolism, I use something from the air. What is it? Oxygen. Oxygen. When I do aerobic metabolism. So when I burn that food that you've stored, that fat, when I burn that fat, I'm using oxygen. And when I consume that oxygen and I use that oxygen, I actually, just like a car, burn off those calories. And so your heart rate is what we call related or correlated. Have you heard that term in math? Mm -hmm. Will I gain weight or will I lose weight? Or will I do neither? If all the calories you bring in in any day, the 2,000, if I burn them all off in one day, am I going to gain weight, lose weight, or stay the same? Stay the same. Here is an example of a day's meal. It represents about 1,700 calories. Height, weight, Gender and age all affect your caloric needs. Truth is... If they are moderately active, they can eat about 1,800 to 2,000 calories a day. Rolling! They'd be like, Murdo, what? How you lose these calories? For what? Because I want this fat out of me. All you need is some fruit and some veggies. So you, 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 and maybe you can help me. Eat some strawberries and put away the fries. You know, the potato has a lot of carbs, right? If you want protein, please make it lean. So you won't have a heart attack at the age of 18. Go outside and do some activities. Instead of saying inside playing COD. Oh snap, got some celery. No, I have snacks on delivery. <laughs> is that it? University of Connecticut, Expanded Foods, and Nutrition Education Program.